Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Welcome to the Senior Resources Show. My name is Christine Carey and I'm the Director of the Town of Colony Senior Resources Department. Thank you for joining me today. My guests today are two very special people, very involved in the senior community in the Town of Colony, and they're here to share some information about the Umbrella of Colony program. I'd like to introduce my guest today, Lauren Harrington. Hi, Chris. She's, hi, the director of the Umbrella Program of Colony, and Kelly Brown Matija, who's the director of programs and services for the Colony Senior Service Centers, Inc. Thank you both for joining me today. Thanks for having us, Chris. Well, lots to talk about. We only have a half hour show, so we'll get right to it. Lots mm -hmm. to cover. Okay. I asked you to come on our show today because um, the Umbrella Program of Colony is a fast growing new program in the town that really does help seniors to remain independent in their homes. And I was hoping that you could kind of share with us some information about the program. We'll kind of go through how it works and um, how seniors can access it. So okay, let's good. get right to it, okay? All right. Okay, now the Umbrella of Pro Colony program, can you tell me why it was started, when it was started? Um, it's, we're on our third year right now. I think at one point, Colony Senior Services and the Senior Resources looked at the community and said there are needs within the community. We are providing uh, transportation and housing and other great resources, but what about that population of people who are living independently in their own homes? Are we providing enough services for them so they can continue living independently in their own places? We, uh, I think, as a group, looked around to see what other programs were out there and found a similar program called Umbrella of the Capital District and used that as sort of a footprint for the Umbrella program, Umbrella of Colony. What we do is we provide independent living seniors with access to handy men and women within our community. Generally speaking, it's seniors helping seniors. So we find newly retired seniors who want to stay active and give back to the community um, and give them access to the, the seniors that are living on their own that may or may not at this point be able to do the things they used to do around their houses. So the handy men and women help them out with day-to-day -day projects, that honey-do list, mm -hmm. you know, with things to, so that they can stay in their homes as long as they'd like. Well, it sounds great, and I know from experience being in this field as long as I've, I have been that umbrella of the Capital District's been around a long time, so seniors were fairly familiar with um, the name recognition, but I think Colony's program is much more unique than the um, program in um, the Capital District. Kelly, do you want to speak right. to that a little bit? Well, and I think what you see is that there's this new concept called villages that's cropping up in senior service provision. It's where you have an organization that's member-based and they connect you with resources to keep seniors independent in their homes. Um, an umbrella of the capital region fits that to a little bit. Um, they focus a lot on the home maintenance aspect of it, but I think where we're a little bit different is that we're also a major senior service provider mm -hmm. so that we do have access to the transportation um, when they're ready to make that next step for housing, we can guide them on that. We also have the adult day program. If we have a couple where they're aging at different rates, then Umbrella can be that kind of gateway to get them to those services that they can have provided in their own communities. And on top of that, I think where Umbrella of Colony is a little bit different is it's almost that concierge service where you need a window washer, we'll get you a window washer. You need a dog walker, we'll get you a dog walker. That if there is something that you need to maintain your independence in your home, then Umbrella of Colony can do that and we'll figure that out and, and you know that, oh, we know a guy. We know a guy, we've screened him, we've done a background check, and this guy we feel absolutely confident that is safe to be in your home working with you and your family. A guy or a girl. Yes, or a girl. Absolutely. There's a lot of women who work in the program, I know. Absolutely. Well, I know as a provider of um, services to help seniors stay in their home, our system is set up as a medical model system really. Mm -hmm. So as seniors need those little bit of extra help, 
to maintain independence, like you said, washing the windows or cleaning the gutters, or maybe if they can't get transportation to get to a doctor's appointment, or um, help with grocery shopping. Umbrella is a little is more unique that it's not just the home maintenance. Right. Isn't that correct? But like Kelly said, we kind of all work together. The other day was a perfect example. Angelina and I were talking about this the other day. We had a, a gentleman who's living independently, aging in place, and wants to stay in his own home. He's ill, so he has some health issues, but you know, wants to stay in his house. We had weatherization over there the other day, working on doing some weatherization in his house. While they were there, they saw that he had a, a, a problem crop up with the sewer leakage into his cellar. Some raw sewage was leaking in. So they, they said, well, you need to call Umbrella. And then the weatherization guy said, oh, by the way, Albany Rural Housing is right across the hall from us. So they called Rural Housing. Housing came over and helped them out with some of the funding in order to take care of this. Um, Umbrella was already there because there were people upstairs working on it. And at the end of the day, you sort of look and you see, here's a lot of, you know, not too many places in the world where you find a, a whole community of people helping somebody in their own homes, the yeah. big village concept. Yeah, and that's the beauty of this program and the collaboration with the town right. um, and the different entities. Like, like you said, Kelly, you work with so many different facets of aging in yeah. place that you, you know, you can be, you're a trusted partner in helping to keep somebody in the community. And I think that's really important, not only to the senior, but to their caregivers, right. their adult children who maybe don't live locally, but really want to see mom and dad stay in their own home. Right. Can you talk about the relationship that you have with family members um, as far as, you know, do you get referrals directly from families? Um, do you work with families as far as, we'll get into the cost of the program in a little bit, but work with families if, um, I see it all the time, I have a lady I'm helping right now who says she doesn't need any help at all, at all, <laughs> and her memory is starting to slip a little bit, and she believes that she can do what she did five years ago. Mm -hmm. She has a daughter in Georgia. I got a call yesterday, I was out there just last week trying to get her some in-home services and she refused them, fell on the weekend and fractured her arm in two places. So now we're in a situation where we're in a crisis and we're trying to pull together services so the daughter can stay in Georgia and the mother can stay in her home. So these are the kind of challenges that caregivers face on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we try to do is do as you do, preventatively get services right. in place before a crisis occurs. Right. So I'm sure your outreach to caregivers is ongoing to, to make Almost them make it available right. to well, them. Well, and, and to speak to that, uh, you know, one of our specials that we run in Umbrella and our advertising is the Mother's Day special. Mm -hmm. Like, what better gift can you give your mom than an Umbrella membership so that if something goes wrong in the house, she doesn't have that guilty burden of, oh, I've got to call Johnny and he's got to take a day off and come over here and fix X, Y, and Z. Well, no, it helps your mom. It helps her self-esteem. It's giving her the power to know that she herself is maintaining her home and that she's paying for the service. Um, or we also have grant funding if she's not able to, but that it's not... I think often you see the seniors that feel that they're burdening their children. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the great things right. about Umbrella is that it's not. We're working in collaboration, and we really um, try and get that message out to caregivers to let them know that the service is available. Right. A lot of times when we talk to people about the Umbrella program, I usually try to have family there because as an adult, child myself, I understand. I'm always saying to my mother, don't let anybody in the house. <laughs> you know, you're always worried that it's the vacuum cleaner salesman coming in. You know, I would just demonstrate a little vacuum cleaning and then suddenly they're buying a $1,200 vacuum cleaner. And I always say to people, we're not selling vacuum cleaners. Mm -hmm. We want to have the rest of the family there. So they understand that the idea is, is that when they get involved with Umbrella, that they've got senior resources, they've got Umbrella, they've got services through Colony Senior Service Center. So it's people who honestly are not trying to sell them anything, but trying to help them stay independent. Mm -hmm. A helping hand, you know, not a handout. Right. Kelly, you started to mention membership. Would you like to tell me a little bit about how the membership works? Sure. Um, Umbrella has a membership fee for joining, and that uh, is a sliding scale based on income. So we do have grant funding available uh, with our partnership with the town Yay. that can help, yes, that can help ops offset that cost for membership. So, I mean, at the most we'll have a member paying is $20 a month approximately. Right. $20.83. Um, yes. <laughs> so it's flexible and we also can work out payment options. But once you become a member of Umbrella, it's, you're in the club. 
and then anytime you need um, a handrail fixed, anytime you need a light bulb changed, anytime you need someone to clean out your gutters, um, we've got someone, usually a senior handyman, who's thrilled to go over, yes, or woman, (laughs) go over and help, but we also have access to contractors. So we have licensed plumbers and electricians that for $60 an hour will go over and give you an estimate, look at what needs to be done, and then do the work. And I can't tell you if we could get a plumber at our house for $60. It's right. just a really great price, and we work it out because they're good people in the community that also work with us, and they want to make sure our people are But the grant is, is also a really nice benefit for, so, for, so, for somebody on a low income. Um, the town gives us access to funding. So if someone's in a low income situation, we can get them involved in an umbrella virtually for free and also have services so that their handrails are safe. Right. Things that are safety mm-hmm. issues are taken care of through the EPI grant, which is really nice. And it's a lovely advantage that I'm sure other people in other communities do not have. Well, I know from uh, the outreach that I've done in the community and working with my partners around the county, a lot of people in, all, in the different senior centers in the county are very envious of this program yeah, that absolutely. we have in Colony and the flexibility that it provides seniors and their right. and their challenges to stay independent in their home. Now, when you talked about the cost of getting a licensed contractor, yes, that is a great price for a plumber. But what does it cost for a handyman to come in and do the honey-do list? Twelve dollars an hour. Twelve dollars an hour. So, like Kelly said, it's empowering. You know, twelve dollars is. A reasonable fee I think everybody feels you know for a lot of people on a fixed income twelve dollars is still a lot of money but it empowers the homeowners so that they aren't calling the kids right. um, the handy men and women feel that they're giving something back to the community without necessarily taking off their shirt every time so they help but what you get it isn't just twelve dollars an hour it's that the handy men and women will come out and look at a project mm-hmm. so you never have to say gee I really don't know what's involved somebody will come out Great story, my favorite. Lady calls because her refrigerator is leaking. She called Sears. I can't say Sears. She called a major appliance store, <laughs> and they said, it's $95 for the visit, and we'll come out between 8 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, house next Tuesday. You know, And she said, well, in the meantime, my house is going to flood. So she called one of our handymen. Russ goes over to look at the project. He always looks at things. They always look at projects first. He pulls the refrigerator away from the wall, and it was the water machine, you know, the ice machine coupling had popped off, so he just popped it back on, shoved the refrigerator back in place, and he said, honestly, I can't even charge you $12. I've been here three minutes. And he, she said, well, I've got to pay you. And he said, okay, I'll have a cup of coffee. <laughs> so they sat and visited, had a cup of coffee. He went home and said to his wife, I did something nice today for a senior. And she called me up as soon as he left and said, you have the nicest people involved. Yeah. So it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know. And I think the other really great thing is when we're talking about you know, the funding access, that we do have funding available um, if there's safety or structural work mm-hmm. that needs to be done on the home. That, right. again, with our grant with the town, and we also have other sources that can help pay for this kind of work. You have the field grant that you leverage. Um, And then we just had our Warmth of Wine event that raised money to help pay for, um, it's actually direct subsidies to help seniors pay for their home heating bills. So I think you've done paid for some repairs on hot water tanks and furnaces. Yep, it can be used for that as well. We haven't gotten to those yet, but right now we've put out over $15,000 so far and we're still taking applications. If Mm -hmm. seniors need help with their winter home heating bills, then we're taking those applications to help them out. We'll talk a little bit about more about that when we close. But I wanted to ask you, when my mom calls and asks about Umbrella and wants to use the program, how does it start? Walk me through the process. And you know, I know there's a home inspection that's done. And just walk me through what a person should expect when they call and say, you know, I'm, I'm interested in this program. How do I access it? We can. A lot of people are apprehensive about having somebody come in the house. And I always feel like I sort of would like to go in and, and talk to everybody and sort of explain to them what the pro- process is involved. But we can send them literature. We can come out and talk to them about it. We can get them signed up. Once they sign up with the program, it, like Kelly said, you're sort of in the club. We do a 17-point home inspection that's done by a New York State licensed home inspector. And again, this guy isn't selling anything. Right. He's right. just there, right, he's just there as part of the service to check the house. For most of us, the last time we had our house ins- inspected was when we bought it. So for somebody who's been in a house for 35 or 40 years, there could be all kinds of little problems going on that they don't know about. 
our feeling is it's easier to address a small problem now than wait until the hot water tank blows up at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's a lot less expensive, especially if you're on a fixed income, and all seniors are on a fixed income. So it, we take care of a home inspection that gives them a list of things they might want to take care of. They don't have to. We'll give them new carbon monoxide detectors and check the batteries on the smoke detectors to make sure they're working appropriately. And then from there, we suggest they sort of start a little honey-do list, things that need to be done. And and then they just you just make that linkage with an appropriate person when they have the honey-do list done. Absolutely. They call us and we send guys out. Um, well, and I was going to say the other aspect of membership that happens is that when you become a member, you get your orientation packet. And in that packet, it's kind of the gateway to services for seniors in Colony, and it has the information for the Senior Resources Department, and it has all of our health and recreation catalog, and it has the information about transportation and senior dining, and really gives them the information that if they were a part of a senior club, they might get at a senior club meeting, or if they lived in the Beltrone or another housing uh, building, they would get the information there. But again, these people are out in the community. They're not necessarily connected in with any networks, and I think that's another way that Umbrella differentiates because we do become that network and it's a conduit for information to get them the critical information about programs and services that are available to them. Yeah, that, that's really right. Because it's a little ironic. We find people who are get involved in Umbrella and don't know about senior resources mm -hmm. and people who are involved with senior resources who don't know about Umbrella. Right. And the two programs work so nicely together yeah. that it's sort of good to make that connection so yeah. they get, you know, the big picture. And I just want to make the point that um, when seniors are looking for, I you know some of the services that Umbrella provides are almost like companion-like services. Mm -hmm. If someone needs assistance maybe getting to a doctor, that can be provided, or someone to assist with some grocery shopping. If seniors were to go out and purchase that service through a companion agency, they're going to pay close to $20 an hour Easily. for that service. So I think it's important that people understand that it's can be more than a home maintenance program if you need it. And it all depends, right. of course, on you know the, the handy people that you have to be able to fill the needs. But I, I like the flexibility of the program, which allows people to use it in different ways. One thing I wanted to talk about, because it's a really big issue for seniors um, when they're living in the Northeast in the winter, is snow plowing. And I just was wondering if you get a lot of calls for that and how you're able to help people with that, because that continues to be a challenge for senior resources. And we always encourage people to start looking for someone to do their shoveling and their plowing in September so that they're not in a crisis situation when that snow hits and they have a doctor's appointment to get to at 10 o'clock. Right. And this winter was brutal. Oh, was we just winter. had an, an obnoxious amount of snow. Yeah. By the end of the winter, we had basically three different snow-related programs. We had guys that could shovel, guys that could snow blow, guys and gals that could snow blow using somebody else's snow blower. Uh, a couple of guys that had their own snow blower that could snow blow, and we had three different plows that we used. The big plow guy, the little plow guy, and the medium plow guy. Sort of like the three bears. <laughs> <laughs> so you were able yeah. to meet the, the demand for right. that. It was still, I mean, you know, like every program, we had days when mm -hmm. I was pulling my hair out and thinking, honestly, there were days I was like, please, no more snow. Well, and the nice thing with Umbrella is for many seniors, they get a snow blowing or a snow plowing contract they're on their own for their sidewalks unless they pay yeah. for that. So under this, it's all, you know, right. under the umbrella program, right. it's all on that hourly yeah. rate, at, you know, whatever. And they have somebody they can call. Not that I'm always looking for somebody to call when there's a problem, but there's somebody they can call. Whereas when you have a contract with somebody else, you know, you've got a problem and bills out, you know, plowing at 2 o'clock in the morning, you're not going to be able to call them, whereas we have a 24-hour service and you can always contact That's me. That's what I wanted to ask you about next was the, you know, the emergency situation when, you know, mom hot water tank goes at 2 in the morning, God forbid. Mm -hmm. How do you handle those kinds of calls? Do seniors know they can call you, or Absolutely. how does that program work? And that's, and that's part of the umbrella program, is we have 24-hour a day service. So another endearing quality, when somebody's thinking, wow, $60 sounds like a lot for a plumber, at 2 o'clock in the morning, if your hot water tank goes out, you can call umbrella. We can get somebody out there that night. You know, you don't have to pay a $35 travel fee and a you know, $75 night and weekend fee. Mm -hmm. Our plumbers will still go out and look at the project, right. tell you how much it's going to cost. If it's 2 o'clock in the morning, they show up at 2 o'clock in the morning because mm -hmm. they're good guys. Yeah, yeah, I know the contractors you have working for you are very good. They're saints. Yeah, that's great. Non-secular. 
not right. saints. <laughs> They're very nice guys. Yes. <laughs> but I think also, you know, that I, I think that's really what the program is about. It's just that extra set of eyes, the caring that, you, I mean, you think back to last summer when we had that heat wave and it was hitting over 100 and Umbrella called every single member to make sure they were okay. And you would think, um, you know, that they would be fine if there had been a problem, they would have called us. But we had three people who had air conditioners that were either broken or hadn't been installed yet. And it, it was really kind of that fail safe that mm -hmm. you were able to catch those people and make sure that they were kept safe. You know, Mrs. Jones, how are you doing? Everything okay? Are you keeping cool? Well, you know, my air conditioner is sitting on my floor and we'll get someone right over there and take care of that for you because that's really. People said, well, my own kids didn't even call me, and Umbrella did, yeah. so. Wow, that's great, that's really a nice story. And I, I think the important thing for folks to understand is that it is a prevention program, as I mentioned before, and you look at you know the annual fee, which is really quite nominal, um, and particularly for people who fall on the sliding scale and can get a reduced you know, rate for their membership, it's one more um, preventative step that you can take to be able to maintain in your home because the options of not living in your home can be very cost prohibitive right. and restrictive for seniors. And I think what they want, what their children want, is for them to be able to remain in this community that they love. So I right. think this is just right. another effort to um, help seniors to do that. We, we think of it as sort of an insurance policy, in all honesty. Yeah. Truly, I think, once most adult kids understand what the program's about, they're happy to sign their parents up because they have somebody they can call. It's assurance for everybody that, that there's a, a fail-safe, right. you know, to keep them in their homes as long as they want. You know, there's a point at which everybody has to make that evaluation about what the next step is going to be. Mm -hmm. Until you get to that point, you, you can feel comfortable about your parents being in their house because they know who is coming and going. Mm -hmm. And I think the outcomes will show that people can live much longer with this program than without it. Absolutely. Think, right, that's pretty evident. The guy last week with everybody there helping out, that was a perfect example. Mm -hmm. In some other situation, you know, he could have gotten into a situation where his illness would have made things worse, it would have escalated, and, and someone in his family would have said, you know what, Dad, I don't think you can stay in the house any longer. But with everybody working together, right. you know, it mm -hmm. sort of, it ensures the fact that this guy can stay where he is. Well, as a provider of services, I get overwhelmed. My caseworkers get overwhelmed at the, the multiple levels that sometimes it takes to keep somebody going. So I can imagine how that feels for the senior. But when you have a partnership like this right. between the town and, and the senior clubs that um, you know are, are a wonderful referral source, I'm sure. Absolutely. And uh, all the different programs that are offered in the town between the meals and the transportation and the congregate activities, then I think, you know, you have, like you said, it takes kind of like it's a village approach yeah. to keeping people living in the community, which is a great thing. And it's really nice. It's only when you talk to people, of friends that live in other communities, that you hear them say, I have girlfriends call all the time and say, my mother's in Boca Raton. I mean, you know, affluent communities and other locations where there are no right. services. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have what, what Colony does. Yeah, well, we're, we're very fortunate. We've spent a lot of years developing these senior services and really are the mo is, we are the model yeah. in the capital district and how to provide senior services. So seniors Absolutely. in the town of Colony should feel very fortunate because yes. we do a good job. In closing on the umbrella program, then we'll talk about some other things that are coming up. Um, can you give the information, the contact information, how seniors can get a hold of you? Absolutely. Um, they can call the umbrella line, which is 459-7152. Call uh, myself, Lauren Harrington, or Colony Senior Service Centers at 459-2857. 2857. Okay. And we'll post the website and the contact information yeah. at the end of the video for, for folks. And right. if anyone's interested in the uh, heating assistance, from the warmth, warmth of wine. wine. Yeah. That yeah, would also be. Do you want to be... talk a minute about the warmth of wine and the whole maintenance fair that are coming up? Now Absolutely. That kind of talk That's great. About the Umbrella yeah. program. Um, the warmth of wine was a fundraiser that we had in March. It was a wine tasting that uh, we held at the Century House, which has been a fabulous partner for our Colony Senior Service Centers. And all of the money that's raised in this fundraiser is offered out to the community to direct checks. We just cut checks to people, which is a really nice feeling. Um, to folks that are income qualified to help pay for their home heating bills. And to date, we've put out about $15,000 and we're still accepting applications. But it's truly a community effort where we had um, 300 folks this year 
and it's just this wonderful feeling in the room where everyone understands that there aren't that many fundraisers nowadays where it actually every raffle ticket you buy goes right to help a senior and that's truly what that effort is about and we're accepting applications again 459-2857 extension uh, 305 I believe for oh, correct. the warmth of wine funding and I know I went to it I go to it every year and it's a <laughs> wonderful opportunity to get out and be with people and drink yeah. wine yes <laughs> and really it, it is, is like Kelly said everybody kind of gets what yeah. what the whole thing is about that it really is going directly back to help people and, so you feel like there's people no people are excited about that yeah. right. you know goes right to the seniors and it's fun it is fun yeah. we well, did have fun this not really year. a wine person but I never realized cannolis go well with everything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you have yeah. a home maintenance fair coming up yes. on, Friday. on Friday I don't it's know Friday. if it, this will be you know aired before that but tell me a little bit about the home maintenance fair I know if people don't hear about it this year on this show they'll keep their keep it on their calendar for next year right up the home maintenance fair uh, is Friday from 10 to 1 and we're holding it at the Beltron Living Center and we usually have around 20 uh, not really vendors but providers of home maintenance services in Colony and in the Capital Region and usually we have a home organizer, we'll have the folks from Weatherization will be there to give out information about that. Um, the town yep, will the be town there, will be there. Yep, the senior resources department, the um, public safety guys will be there about, with information about scams and about keeping your home safe. And it's truly, I think, um, kind of that cadre of services that if you're interested in for yourself or for your parents, that really um, can help educate them about what's really available. And of course, it's sponsored by Umbrella. And we have some new things we're doing too. Like we have a, a new program we're doing with Wildwood. Um, they have a greenhouse and they're growing flowers this year. And they've offered to grow flowers and plant them, grow the flowers at their cost, sell them at their cost, and plant them for free for seniors in our community. And what a great opportunity yes. to network. I mean, it's the nicest yeah, organization. That nice. That's terrific. Yeah, yeah, so those folks will be there. So yeah. it's more than just, you know, then there will also be some vendors, some plumbers and electricians. Uh, a mason we truly feel understands what senior needs are mm -hmm. right. folks that, that get what the program's right. all about mm -hmm. and there's a new um, business called accessible home solutions where all they do oh, yeah. is um, home modifications for aging in place mm -hmm. and so they'll be there to kind of bring along their demonstrations mm -hmm. about what they have that can show how you can alter your bathroom very easily um, and effectively to make sure that you are able to age, age in place in your home. So well, these are just great programs, particularly you know putting all the effort into planning a housing fair. Um, you know, it's they're only good if seniors come out and attend them, right? Absolutely, and get the information. And on that note, I want to make a plug for the senior resources department that we will be having our health fair at the crossings on May third from nine to twelve. So I urge people to mark that on their calendar and please come out and attend. Again, it's a great prevention program that helps seniors stay safe and healthy and maintain in their homes. So. I know your organization and our organization will keep plugging away at this. You know, community-based services is yeah. really the way to go for seniors if they, you yes. know, nobody's looking to sign up to go to a nursing home <laughs> or assisted living. So right. I thank you for the work that you do. The Umbrella Program thank is you, a Chris. great yeah. resource in our community. We're very fortunate. Thank, thank, thank you, you for both. being such a great partner. Oh, really? you're welcome. Really? And thanks for joining me today, Lauren and Kelly. Thanks, yeah. Chris. That's it for today. I thank you very much for joining me on the Senior Resources Show. I'll see you again. Bye now.